Lord, I start out by thanking you for my life. I thank you for all that you have led me through, what you have kept me from, and how you have helped me. Um, my dad was really sick for about five years before he actually passed away. And whenever Sean approached me about the biography on, on dad, I was, I was grateful to be able to do it, but I knew my dad probably wouldn't agree. But I, we asked him anyway, because as the kids, we knew he didn't have a whole lot of time left. And we really thought he had more time than what he had. Now God, if this prayer means anything at all, let it mean the whole world to my children, to my grandchildren. In June is when we got the completed project and then in August he actually passed away. And we thought we would have him for about two or three more years and it turned out that, you know, we didn't. After we got the biography, of course, we all sat and watched it, you know, together as a group, me and my brother and my sister, and um, edited everything and we cried, of course, because you know, at the very end of the biography, Dad said a prayer, unbeknownst to us because Sean wouldn't let any of us in the room, you know, when he was filming my dad. And it was a big surprise, and of course we sat and we cried. I ask especially, God, that you would bless Rebecca, bless Rachel, and bless Randy. But on the biography, Sean really caught the essence of what Dad portrayed through his whole life and he prayed for each one of us and he said a prayer on any children that we had or were going to have. Bless their children as they have them dear God. Give them the love and the understanding on how to live for you like I have lived for you. And little did we know in the two short months that we had him after that, how we would treasure, treasure those moments. I pray for my grand boys. I pray your hands are upon them, dear God. At his funeral, at that point, I guess I was probably still in shock anyway, and we wanted people to remember him, you know, and how he was. And by doing the prayer at the funeral, I think we gave them the more essence of what he really was, you know, and everybody remembered him like that. Oh God, I pray for all of my family. I pray for my mother and my dad, my brothers and my sisters. And I pray God that you would keep your hands upon them. The only thing I would tell someone about having this done is that you don't know how long you have left with them, if, even if they are healthy. I mean, anything could happen, a car wreck, you know, anything. Devastation happens all over and you never expect it to happen to you. You know, and like I had said, I expected to have my dad for about four or five more years, never dreaming. I was just preparing for the worst, you know. And to this day, and I'm sure in my older years, I will never regret having this done on my dad. And I suggest anybody do it, you know, before it's too late. I thank you for keeping your hands upon me and let me be used of your spirit in the mighty name of God, amen.